Welcome to Read With Me. Hello friends, welcome to another Read With Me session. Today we have a sequel to a hugely popular book called Grumpy Monkey. For those of you who haven't seen or read Grumpy Monkey, I've added the video of us reading that uh, in the description. So please go check it out. Without further ado, let's begin. We hope you enjoyed this one. Today's book is called Grumpy Monkey Up All Night by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. Early in the evening, just about supper time, Norman heard a whole lot of whooping and hollering next door. What's the ruckus? Norman asked his neighbour, Jim Pansy. I'm so excited, Jim exclaimed. I'm going to a sleepover at my parents' house. My whole family will be there. Mum, Dad, and my big sisters, Anne and Nan. Who's that? asked Norman. Oh, yeah, my little brother Tim, grumbled Jim. But never mind, it'll still be fun. Sleepovers are a good time, Norman agreed. Jim talked about all the great things he would do. First, we'll go termite fishing. Next, we'll tell scary stories. Then, we'll have a midnight feast and wash it down with some jungle punch. Uh, I wouldn't drink punch too close to bedtime, Norman advised. Bedtime? exclaimed Jim. Nobody sleeps at a sleepover. We're going to stay up all night. Sounds fun, said Norman. Mind if I tag along? A little later, they arrived at the tree where Jim's parents live. It's my little grumpy monkey, Jim's mum cried as he gave him a hug. I'm so happy to see you. Mum, moaned Jim. I'm not little and I'm not a monkey. I'm an ape. Jim's mum smiled and ruffled his fur. But you are grumpy, she said. No, I'm not, Jim scowled. I like your mum, said Norman. Not fair. You didn't say we could bring a friend, said a voice coming down the path. Who's that? asked Norman. Tim, exclaimed Jim's family. I thought you said he was your little brother, said Norman. I had a growth spurt, said Tim. What should we do first? asked Jim's mum. Everyone answered at once. Termite fishing. Pick fleas off each other. Bob for mangoes. I know, said Tim. Measure each other to see who's tallest. Maybe our guest should choose, suggested Jim's dad, turning to Norman. It's a tough decision, said Norman. It all sounds fun. Don't worry, said Anne. There'll be plenty of time to do everything because we're going to stay up all night, cheered Jim and his siblings. I don't know, said Jim's mum. Staying up all night could make for some very grumpy monkeys. And then the games began. Termite fishing. Flea picking. I'm sure these games sound very fun to monkeys and apes, but I'm not sure they'll be very fun for us, right friends? Bobbing for mangoes. Scary stories. It was a dark and stormy night, said Jim. Tim trembled. Your brother's scared, said Jim's mum. Why not tell a happy story instead? A midnight feast. Hey, you have to share the jungle punch, said Jim. But you didn't share the bananas, said Tim. Stay up all night. It's really getting dark, said Tim, looking around. Because it's night, snapped Jim. Are you grumpy? asked Tim. No, said Jim. Just then. They heard a noise. 
thunder, sh- shouted Tim, and his eyes went wide. <laughs> oh no, N- now it's dark and stormy. Don't worry, said Jim. It's just Norman snoring. He does lots of funny snores. Sometimes it sounds like ra 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 ra, and sometimes it sounds like <laughs> Tim laughed. Other times it's like ha wee ha wee. Jim and Tim laughed and laughed all night long, while Norman snored. <laughs> As the sun came up, Tim fell asleep. Good idea, little brother, said Jim, as he tucked Tim in and lay down. But just as he was about to close his eyes, Good morning, my monkeys, sang Jim's mum. Mum, shouted Jim, we're not monkeys, we're apes. I prefer gorilla, but yeah. Ape works, said Norman. Oh, Jim, I told you staying up all night would make you grumpy, said Jim's mum, ruffling his fur. I'm not! You always be my grumpy monkey, whispered Jim's mum. The end. That was Grumpy Monkey Up All Night. What a great sequel to the original. We hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, please click a like and a subscribe. Looking forward to spending some more time with you again shortly on another Read With Me session. Until then, please take care and goodbye.